Former executive director of the Congressional Black Caucus, Angela Rice here. CNN political commentator and Republican strategist, Alice Stewart. And CNN senior political commentator and former Republican senator from Pennsylvania, Rick Santorum. Senator, it's great to see you. Thank you guys all for being here. Um, Angela, we have had um, some passionate conversations about this, and I want to get your reaction to what you heard from John Conyers this morning. Um, this is just a, it's a tough moment, I think, um, given what's happening in the culture uh, throughout America. There are a lot of people who are facing quite a reckoning. Um, and I continue to say to you, Kate, what I've been saying since last week, and I just look forward to the day whether the position of power is in politics, the position of power is entertainment, the position of power is you are the most senior ranking folks in some big corporation. I want for whatever punishment is doled out to be fair. I eagerly await the opportunity for someone to call on Blake Fahrenholt, whose settlement was three times that amount of Congressman Conyers' confidential settlement. I eagerly await for someone to call for Al Franken's resignation. This is not a partisan issue. But if politics is going to be accountable the same way in which Hollywood is, I also eagerly await for Donald Trump to resign amid the accusations of 16 women. Angela raises an important point. If you want to go as apples to apples as you can on this, Alice, Blake Farenthold, he said, John Conyers had a settlement in Congress. Blake Farenthold, Republican from Texas, he had a settlement, $84,000. He's sticking around. He says he's paying it back out of his own pocket. But he, there's no indication that he's leaving. I've only, I have not heard leadership come out to call for him to resign. Is there an element of fairness or unfairness that's going on right now? I think... Angela made a very uh, important point. This is a time of reckoning. And I think whether we're talking about Conyers, uh, Ferenthold, or we're talking about Al Franken, mm -hmm. if you are facing these charges, and all the ones we've heard to date, in my view, are credible. I believe these women. I believe their stories. They should all step aside. And I don't think this is a time where um, w we, can, we have the opportunity to take this to a, a judge and jury. I believe these women. They should step aside. Listening to Conyers say one of the very important things he said when he was asked by the radio show host, she was asking about these settlements and yeah. taxpayer money being used to pay off uh, this sex hush fund. I think it was very important for him to say all of this should be in the open. No more confidential uh, disclosure. More confidentiality when it comes to these uh, important issues. Everything should be on the table. And I believe, if nothing else, out of this, we will put all of this in the open. More women will feel comfortable coming forward, and more men will pay the price for these, these types of activities. Uh, Senator, I want to get your, your kind of reaction to Conyers, and also this element, if you want to just speak like a House member to a House member, um, Blake Farenthold. I mean, his, the woman that there is a settlement with spoke to Anderson Cooper, and spoke very candidly about when she came out and spoke out about the, about harassment, she has not been able to find work. She's been taking temp jobs and babysitting jobs. She was a comms director for a sitting member of Congress before. I mean, what's different here? Well, look, I, I, I agree generally with what, what's been said. The only, only concern I have is to make sure that there's a process. I mean, uh, you mm -hmm. know, accusation is one thing, and, and a process to determine whether those accusations are credible or not is something that the Congress has to, has to, has to do. And, that, and so uh, I understand Al Franken's, uh, the claims made against Al Franken, but Al Franken deserves his day in court. I mean, uh, the idea that someone makes an accusation, or even two or three, and, and that we demand resignation, that's different than something that has been gone through a process and found to be credible. So uh, I just I think there is a difference, and I think we have to make sure that uh, that we we do give people some sort of due process through the, through this through this whole thing. Kate, can uh, I just raise one more point? Mm -hmm. um, there's also a new member out of Nevada named Ruben Cayhan. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his last name right, but he's a 37 year old Latino member, and he's also been called on by Nancy Pelosi to resign. There's been no process, and and I think that is in fact what I'm raising. That it you know. There's been a process for Blake Farenthold. It was the same one as Mr. Conyers. If, if, uh, if Senator Santorum is suggesting that that process found guilt, which is not what it found, if they found settlements, if the settlement is what is required,
to have someone resign, then he should resign. If we're saying that because Al Franken's um, six accusers uh, were not believing those women because there wasn't that kind of process where they were forced to settle or where he was forced to settle, and it's still kind of open and, and up in the air, then so are Ruben's accuser, or, or so is Ruben's one accuser, and we should allow that process to take place as well, and he should not be facing calls to resign. I'm just seeing a lot of disparities, and it's mind-boggling and really confusing, and I just want someone to help me understand why Congressman Conyers and Ruben uh, Kaihin are facing calls for resignation, but Blake Fahrenholt and Al Franken are not. It's just I'll tell you this much. I think it's, it's one of these situations where everyone says it is above politics, but when it involves politicians, I think we can all, if we're being very <laughs> candid, there's Absolutely. a lot of politics involved, and that is the way it is. It is not good. It should change, but that's yeah. the way it is today. Rick, uh, Senate